Hepatitis B is a serious liver infection caused by the hepatitis B virus, or HBV. This virus can lead to both acute and chronic infections. It can have long-term consequences, including liver damage, cirrhosis, and even liver cancer. Early detection and management are crucial to prevent these complications. This is where HB-SAG, the hepatitis B surface antigen, comes into play. HB-SAG is a protein found on the surface of the hepatitis B virus. Its presence in the blood is a key indicator of infection. Understanding HB-SAG is vital for the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of hepatitis B. HB-SAG serves as a red flag, alerting healthcare professionals to the presence of HBV infection. Detecting HB-SAG is the primary method for diagnosing hepatitis B. It helps identify individuals who are currently infected and those who have been infected in the past. This information guides treatment decisions and helps prevent the spread of the virus. The discovery of HB-SAG marked a significant milestone in our understanding of hepatitis B. In the 1960s, Baruch Bloomberg, a physician and scientist, made a groundbreaking discovery. He identified a unique antigen in the blood of indigenous Australian populations that was also present in the blood of patients with hepatitis B. This antigen, initially called Australia antigen, was later renamed hepatitis B surface antigen, or HB-SAG. HB-SAG is a protein that forms the outer shell of the hepatitis B virus. It acts as a shield, protecting the virus's genetic material. This protective coat is essential for the virus's survival and ability to infect liver cells. The discovery of HB-SAG revolutionized hepatitis B diagnosis and paved the way for vaccine development. Bloomberg's work earned him the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1976, highlighting the immense impact of his discovery. The hepatitis B virus, carrying its HB-SAG shield, enters the bloodstream. The virus targets liver cells, known as hepatocytes. HB-SAG plays a crucial role in this process. It binds to specific receptors on the surface of liver cells, much like a key fitting into a lock. This interaction allows the virus to attach to and enter the liver cells. Once inside, the virus releases its genetic material, taking over the cell's machinery to replicate itself. The infected liver cells then start producing massive amounts of new viral particles, including HB-SAG. These new viruses, armed with their HB-SAG coats, are then released into the bloodstream, ready to infect more liver cells. This cycle of infection, replication, and release can continue for years, leading to chronic hepatitis B infection and increasing the risk of serious liver complications. Detecting HB-SAG in the blood is the primary method for diagnosing hepatitis B infection. This is usually done through a simple blood test. The most common test is the HB-SAG ELISA, or enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. This test uses antibodies that specifically recognize and bind to HB-SAG. If HB-SAG is present in the blood sample, it will bind to the antibodies, producing a detectable signal. Other tests, such as rapid diagnostic tests, can also detect HB-SAG. These tests provide results within minutes and are particularly useful in resource-limited settings. Healthcare providers use these tests to screen individuals for current hepatitis B infection. They also help identify individuals who may have been infected in the past and have developed immunity. An HB-SAG positive test result indicates that the hepatitis B surface antigen is present in the blood. This means the individual is currently infected with the hepatitis B virus. However, it's important to note that a positive HB-SAG test alone does not determine the severity of the infection. It doesn't differentiate between acute and chronic infection or indicate the level of liver damage. Following a positive HB-SAG test, healthcare providers usually recommend further tests. These additional tests help determine the stage of infection, assess liver function, and guide treatment decisions. These may include tests for other hepatitis B virus markers, such as HBAG, anti-HBs, and HBV DNA. These tests provide a more comprehensive picture of the infection status. Understanding the difference between HBV and HB-SAG is crucial. HBV refers to the hepatitis B virus itself, the infectious agent responsible for causing hepatitis B. On the other hand, HB-SAG is a specific protein found on the surface of the hepatitis B virus. HB-SAG is just one part of the virus, a part that's visible to the immune system and helps in diagnosing an HBV infection. HB-SAG can be transmitted through contact with the blood or bodily fluids of an infected person. This includes sharing needles, unprotected sexual contact, and, less commonly, from mother to child during childbirth. 
Hepatitis B is highly infectious, which makes vaccination crucial for prevention. There is currently no cure for chronic hepatitis B, but there are treatments available to manage the virus. Antiviral medications can reduce the amount of virus in the blood and decrease the risk of complications, while liver monitoring and lifestyle changes can also help manage symptoms. Chronic hepatitis B can lead to serious liver diseases such as cirrhosis, liver failure, and liver cancer. Understanding HB-SAG's role has also led to advancements in vaccines and treatments. The hepatitis B vaccine, for instance, is a powerful tool for preventing HBV infection, and it uses HB-SAG to stimulate an immune response. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share for more health insights.